Well, it's said that uh, this survivor is actually the chief engineer of that boat, and what happened was that he locked himself, when he found that things were getting quite tough, he locked himself inside one of the um, engineering rooms, and then, and then according to the divers there, said that he had smeared himself in oil in order to protect himself from the cold waters that are um, in the waters, and that's allowing him to survive those cold temperatures um, for the last 48 hours. As of now, he has been taken to the uh, nearby health center in Korewe, and um, he is said to be in a bit of a critical condition. The lake is absolutely huge, isn't it? I guess as hours pass, the chances of finding any more survivors diminish. Yes, the lake is absolutely huge. I mean, um, this is a lake that's being shared by three countries, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. So you can imagine just uh, the, the, the scope of it all. Um, furthermore, as, as it's been said there in the piece, not many people know how to swim. And because the safety measures, well, the safety information isn't as adhered to, uh, people panicked and uh, began to just throw themselves overboard. Um, as of uh, yesterday, when they did stop, because, so stop searching, they resumed the search this, um, uh, this morning. Uh, but the hopes are getting uh, lower and lower of finding more survivors, especially those who are not, uh, who are, you know, ordinary citizens, 